It wasn't my first time using the tubular cast on method, but the tube at the cast on edge came out too tight, which made the neck too small. I wondered if my head can go through this, but I just decided to go on because I had the same worry when I made no frill sweater by Petit Knit, and it came out okay after all, so I just hoped it would go well with this one too. I tried it on after dividing the sleeves and body. I could wear it, but the neck has stretched too much. But still, I didn't frog it. I just hope this would be fixed after washing and blocking. I was really in love with this color combination, especially this powdery mint color. The fun part of knitting sweater number 12 was working the stripes with this color. I didn't get bored the whole time. I enjoyed even working the background color because I could count down the rows waiting for the next stripe to come. It seems 11 stripes are worked for the body in the sample picture in the pattern, but I had to make the body longer and work more stripes because of the gauge difference in rows. But I couldn't make the body as long as I want because I was too worried about running out of the yarn for the background color, so I ended up working 12 stripes and binded off the body. I like the entire sweater is made with the broken rib stitch. I only needed 4mm needles because there are no ripped band to work for the every edge. The moment I first saw this sweater number 12 on Instagram, I became obsessed with the sweater right away. I like the texture created by the broken rib stitch. And on the Instagram, every piece was beautiful, every color combination was beautiful, and I got so excited by the fact that I could make this sweater for myself as well by knitting. I even thought it was knitter's privilege to have this sweater. 
I'm glad that I have one now, and I'm planning to work another sweater number 12 using different color combination. So that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I'll come back with my next one.